Hey everybody, it's Marilene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about my most worn fragrances for the first month of the year, January 2021. I have 11 fragrances here that I've been reaching for the most. And I've separated them into two different categories. The first category are fresh, light, citrusy scents. And then the second category are my heavier, uh, more darker perfumes. So let's just begin here with this one, Daisy Marc Jacobs, also Fresh Spring. I just got this not too long ago and I've been wearing it a lot lately. There's already a little bit of a dent there, but yeah, I've been really enjoying this one a lot. To be honest, I do get some of the original Daisy DNA in here, which I don't mind. For me, it smells like a fresh green icy green tea. There's matcha in here as well. So when I have worn this, I do picture myself drinking an iced matcha green tea in a garden and there's lots of grass and green and it's nice and fresh and maybe it just rained because there is a watery quality in this perfume that I get that for me makes it just so refreshing and really fun. Um, the bottle here is really cute. The second one here is a cheapy fragrance that I don't really talk about a lot on my channel but I have been wearing this a lot lately. It's from the house of Burberry. It's this one here. This is Burberry Brit Rhythm for her. I do like how it has the name etched into the uh, what is this called? The neck, I guess? The bottleneck? <laughs> and um, that's just a nice little detail. Anyways, this one for me is a very clean and fresh lavender scent. Sometimes I think of marshmallows when I wear this. Maybe because for me it's just very fluffy and fun. And um, if you are a person that didn't really like Mongorlan. Maybe it didn't work well for you, but you still want to wear something that has like a nice sweet lavender in it. I would suggest this one to test because yeah, Mongorlan doesn't work well for me, but this combo here of the lavender musk, uh, coumarin, um, florals, uh, is just very soft and just so comforting and cozy. For, for me, I wear this at nighttime, sometimes when I go to bed as well. So another thing is that this is very inexpensive on online discounters, at least where I live. I think I picked this one up at the drugstore nearby for around 12 or 13 euros. And this is a 50 milliliter bottle. Moving on, we have a fragrance from the house of Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue Eau de Toilette. I have recently, uh, sorry, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I have this new light box thing that I'm trying out and uh, still trying to get used to it. Anyways, the Eau de Toilette version is just a nice citrusy, lemony, sparkling perfume that is so easy to wear. It has a little bit of musk in there and it's woodsy in the dry down. Some people have asked me what I think about the intense version. I do plan on reviewing that one at some point, um, but long story short, the intense version is nice, but I do prefer the Eau de Toilette version. Okay, so let's move on to another nice freshy scent that I've been wearing a lot lately. This one is from the house of Christian Dior. This is Rouge Trafalgar released in 2020. Yeah, this one I'm just falling in love with more and more. The more I wear it, the more I enjoy it. This one was a blind buy for me and it was a successful one. It has a lot of fruity notes like raspberry, cherry, it has strawberry and um, blackcurrant and orange notes, grapefruit. Yeah, it has all of those fruits and also patchouli, so it is a fruit chuli scent. But I do find this one to be very light and watery and transparent rather than the fruity, sticky, jammy type of perfume. 
perfect for a signature scent, I think, and uh, this one does last very well on me. So yeah, I really love Fruit Chuli scents, but I think with this one, what makes it special is that it's just very light and airy and long lasting, but it doesn't feel heavy or overly sweet or anything like that. So let's move on to another freshy scent. This one is also quite new to my collection. It's Aqua Colonia 4711 Matcha and Frangipani. Yet another tea scent, you guys. And yeah, I've had this not too long. And you can see that I've used a lot of it already. These perfumes are just so easy to wear, which is why I enjoy them so much. Um, they are lighter scents that don't last very long, but... You know, being home a lot, it's just perfect for me where I can just wear it for a few hours and then I can just reapply with the same thing or, you know, something else. So the notes in here are only matcha and frangipani. It does smell a lot like the matcha green tea in the opening and in the dry down, the frangipani does come out more and it's just a very creamy and smooth and sweet frangipani scent with matcha green tea in the background so I absolutely love this one you guys they just came out with uh, this year's editions of the aqua colonia perfumes that I'm so interested in the one that I'm most interested in is called bamboo and watermelon the last freshy perfume here that I'll be talking about is one of my favorite citrus scents it's a niche perfume house called Odin O2. I don't really talk about this one a lot. Um, I'm not really sure why, but this is one of the best mandarin orange slash grapefruit scents that I own. I do have quite a few of those types of perfumes in my collection, but this one I always go back to because it's a longer lasting citrus scent. And of course, when it comes to citrus scents, Usually they don't last very long, um, but on my skin, this performs really well. It starts off with a very realistic grapefruit, mandarin, orange, um, woodsy kind of realistic citrus. And then it dries down more into a uh, woodiness that is more dominant in the dry down with the citrus in the background. So I don't hear a lot about this perfume house at all, um, but yeah, this is a great mandarin orange grapefruit scent for sure. So let's move on to some more heavy scents. Well, not really heavy, but heavier than these citrus ones here. First off, we have a fragrance from the House of Kerosene. This one I got for Christmas last year. Kerosene Follow, probably the best coffee scent out there. Uh, My Holy Grail coffee scent and it's just a really realistic dark roast coffee uh, with some chocolate notes well I'm not sure if chocolate is in the notes actually um, but to me I'm thinking of a, a chocolate flavored dark roast coffee that opens with a chocolate coffee crisp bar so yeah this is just a great realistic gourmand scent that I am so in love with and uh, I love drinking coffee and uh, I like smelling like coffee apparently too. So that's Follow by Kerosene. And next one here is a fragrance from the house of Lancome. So this is Lancome La Nuit Trésor Nude. This was one of my most favorite releases of last year and this one has notes of bergamot, rose, coconut and vanilla. I don't know, whenever I wear this perfume, even when I'm just at home, I just feel like super girly and feminine. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe it's because of this really cute bottle that when I put it on, I just feel extra womanly, I guess. It's really weird what it does, but yeah, it's a very nice, sweet vanilla coconut scent and I am in love with coconut perfumes. So this is just a fantastic perfume that um, 
It's just such a cute bottle and the scent is very cute and very easy to wear and very sweet and uh, I absolutely love this one. Next up we have a gourmand scent here by the House of Killian. This is Kissing Burns 6.4 Calories a Minute. Want to work out? This one has notes of um, I forget now. <laughs> it has lily of the valley in it. It has vanilla, uh, milk, sugar, and it's a very green scent. So this one to me is just like a very interesting gourmand scent. It's very unique in my opinion. I think this line caters more for maybe uh, a younger crowd, perhaps. For me, it's just something that if I was in high school, I would love to smell like this because I don't think any of my classmates would be smelling like a green, the lactonic, lily of the valley scent. So, yeah, I guess, well, of course, everyone in, of any age can wear this, but I just think this is a fantastic burnt sugar vanilla gourmand that is just weird, but in like a very, in the best way possible. When I wear this, I'm sometimes reminded of my high school signature scent, which was Diesel Plus Plus Feminine. And that one is also a very strange and unique gourmand. It's a milky, slightly metallic, floral, coconutty scent. I don't know, I guess when I wear this, it kind of makes me think of high school a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, this is a great one. Killian Kissing Burns 6.4 calories a minute to want to work out. All right, so we have two more to go. First of all, we have one that is new in my collection. So I haven't had this one very long, but I have been wearing it a lot lately and I have been enjoying it so, so much. This is Jean Paul Gaultier Label Le Parfum EDP Intense. Yeah, I will be reviewing this one sometime soon, hopefully. I do want to wear it like a lot more so that I can like give a full review of it and maybe a comparison with the original Labelle. But yeah, I really, really enjoy this, you guys. Um, I'm not sure which is my favorite yet between this or the original, but um, yeah, this is just a fantastic, sweet, gourmandy scent, um, quite thick and delicious and very sexy and yeah stay tuned for a review on this one i did an unboxing of this one recently so i can link that for you guys down in the description box if you want to hear my uh, first impressions of it so we have one more perfume to go here this is also a new perfume in my collection but i've also put a huge dent in it already as you can see this is from the house of Etat Libre d'Orange and it's this very difficult name to say um, I think it's Fils de Dieu du Ri et des Agrum <laughs> it means son of god of citrus and I think that yeah, I can't remember exactly but this one is one of my most favorite savory gourmand scents I will review this sometime soon in the future, uh, but yeah, this is basically a steamed rice, coconut, gingery scent that is just very realistic, very literal. It does give me memories of my mom's cooking when she is steaming some rice in the kitchen and the whole entire kitchen and home smells of steamed rice and other things. So this one is very nostalgic, uh, but very unique and interesting and just amazing. <laughs> All right, so those were the perfumes that I have worn the most this past month of January. I would love to know what you guys think about these perfumes. Uh, let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's it for me for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care guys, bye-bye.